kept me off this ball. Guys, it's finally the day. It is uh, Sunday, April 21st, Easter Sunday, and today is the day that I'm gonna run a half marathon on the Great Wall of China. Oh, I'm super excited. Not quite sure how I'm this awake. It's currently uh, 4.55 a.m. But the bus pickup for the race is at 5.30 a.m., around 10, 15 minutes down the road. Um, here in Beijing so everyone is getting picked up and we're getting brought to the Great Wall. The race starts at 9.30 a.m. and then I have six hours total to finish a 21 kilometer race along the Great Wall of China. Yeah so I'm just packing my bag now, got my, uh, my, my energy bars and my breakfast. I think I'm pretty as prepared as I can be. I'm super nervous but excited just for this day to be here and just to get there and to see the Great Wall of China. I'm going to take you guys with me for the journey, hopefully as much as possible. Um, and wish me luck. So we've made it here to the Great Wall area. Um, our bus just dropped us off. It's about 7.30 a.m. So it took about two hours to get here. Um, yeah, we're here now. We're just following the crowd and gonna see what happens. We have about an hour and a half before the race starts. Okay, so we're here at the start line. You can see it here behind me. Um, the race is gonna start in less than hours. We're pretty excited. Um, everyone looks pretty excited. Everyone's dressed up, um, ready to go. There's a lot of water stations, a lot of first aid stations. I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, I think we're pretty excited to start. We need to go below, so make your show. Well done! Uh, how are you feeling? Um, anxious and excited. I was, when I got here, I was like really excited to start, but also feeling like, I don't know, will I finish or not? But yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just happy to finally get started now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so apparently we're about three kilometers in. Uh, it's all been on road so far, just tarmac. Um, I think in about a kilometer or two, we're gonna be reaching the Great Wall. And that's gonna be loads of steps. Oh. Holy touch. And there you can see the Great Wall. Made it to the first water stop. <laughs> this is it, guys. The <coughs> main entrance. <laughs> It's pretty fun, it's not like an old wow. marathon. Everyone's just stopping to take photos all the time. Look at this cube! Oh my god. actually crawling on like their hands 
and he's So as you can see, we're still on the Great Wall, but it's kind of more like a gravel road now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> it's Jordan! There's no running uphill anymore. <sighs> so Jordan's doing the full and he's already on his way back. This is insane! <sighs> Get me off this wall. <laughs> Guys, I've made it to the 7 kilometer point. I thought I was at about, I don't know, 10 kilometers, but yeah, it's only 7. Um, I just met Jordan on the wall. He's already running back, so he's already done an extra seven kilometers. He's on the 14 kilometer mark, um, but he's running the full marathon. And I'm running, only running the half. So once I finish, he essentially has a whole other half marathon to run. So he has to go a lot faster than I do. Um, but yeah, he's doing so well, it's unreal. Finally doing a bit of jogging again, as we're on a sort of gravel path. Um, we've gone off the Great Wall for about, I guess, two or three kilometers. The gravel path is really slippy. There's first aid officers the whole way along. Check that you're okay. I'm gonna show you what the road looks like. I don't know what kilometer I'm at, I guess. 16, 17. Guys, I'm absolutely shattered. I do not want to see another step for the rest of my life. I think I'm in the last 20 or 30 people. There's not too many people behind me. I'm dying. Why didn't I train for this race? <laughs> Just when you think you're over the hard bit, you see this. Oh my God. We just have two kilometers left, but my knee and behind my knee is in absolute agony. So I've kind of been crawling the last few kilometers. It really sucks that going downhill, normally I like going downhill, but going downhill is so painful. And the last two kilometers are just these steps the whole way down so yeah it's not really anything I can do about it but I guess at least it looks like I'm gonna finish this goddamn thing can't wait to get off this stupid wall um, oh I'm just so tired everything's tired my whole body is tired I'm really hungry I think I got really sunburnt today but here we go oh guys it took me forever here we go <laughs> well, oh my god, I got one of these things. It just feels so good. I can't believe it's all over. Um, it just feels so weird. It's mad though. I've been up for like 12 hours, like running for six or seven hours, just up and down steps across the Great Wall of China. It's insane. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of weird that it's over now. It was definitely like one of the hardest things if not the hardest thing I've ever done in my life um, I think we climbed 300 sets of stairs like uh, 300 floors uh, almost 22 kilometers just endless ups and downs uh, really slippy pathways um, really hurt my knee about kilometer 13 so I was really struggling I would say for the last five kilometers and like kind of wanted to quit but actually the good thing is you can't quit you're on the Great Wall of China there's no way down um, so I kind of just had to keep hobbling along but it, it did mean that my time was really um, over I guess like my time was way more than what I hoped it would have been uh, but it doesn't matter I freaking finished a half marathon on the Great Wall of China 